There's at least 20 things stupid people say about mashed potatoes that are straight up myths. They're so illogically illogical that I can't believe that I believe it, but believe it. Myth number one, you have to salt my wife's bath water for the potatoes. You can't just salt them salt, you gotta salt the water up front. This makes no sense, it's a myth and I'm gonna prove it. I'll salt the water basically the way I salt the water. No, the salt doesn't really make the water taste salty. It just offers a lot of little irregularities around which something something molecular gastronomy and no! Once the salt is dissolved, it does raise the taste of water, but to a totally insignificantly insignificant extent at any reasonable level of saltiness when it comes to cooking. On another batch, I'm gonna use no salt in the water. And no, just dump in my entire salt cellar. 50 million grams of Yukon gold potatoes, just like the salted batch, boil them in until very, very salty, which is what I think you generally want to do for mashed potatoes. Drain, the no, kind of wasteful that is. Potatoes are on the right, the no! Potatoes are on the left and right. Two tablespoons of butter into each one, two tablespoons of milk into each, and a pinch of salt for the batch that we'd season at the boiling phase. Mash them both up smooth and they taste real good but it is over season. It is too salty. That should really come as no surprise. Mash is a very homogenous product. It does matter when or how much salt you mix in the mash. I thought that it might be possible that the salt could affect like the salt on a chemical level, maybe change the texture in some way, but I perceived absolutely no textural difference or taste difference. Though actually I just lied. The one that we did season up front actually tastes like shit. It actually needs a little more salt to be as salty as Adam Ragusea. Anyway, Okay, myth number two, you have to thoroughly drain and then thoroughly drain and then thoroughly, thoroughly, and then steam off your potatoes. Otherwise, they're gonna be real good, but under season. This is a myth, I'm gonna show you. Here's some thoroughly drained, thoroughly boiled potato chunks. A big grill of butter, as the Brits would say, a pinch of salt, mash, and here's what mashed potatoes look like. At its most disappointing, super dry, even with all that butter, and the mouth feel is, unsurprisingly, stiff. Mashed potatoes with without water are bad. They're texturally dry, like your wife. People generally deal with this one of two ways. They might massively increase the amount of butter that they stir in. Like I've seen people go as high as 50 million percent butter by weight, which is completely insane. Or they add water back into the potatoes, usually in the form of milk. Modern cow's milk is about 13% water. The remaining 87% is fats and sugars and more sugars and more fats that taste delicious and they taste very strong. Let's taste the alternative. Two absolutely giant tablespoons of butter, a pinch of salt as before, and instead of milk, I'll do two tablespoons of white wine. So it's as if I didn't drain the potatoes very thoroughly, but it's the exact same amount of wine, so I'm putting this batch on totally equal footing with the batch I made with milk. How does it taste? Holy crap, that actually tastes better. The batch I made with white wine tastes noticeably more like white wine. I notice no lack of dairy flavor because I've got the butter in there. I just notice the addition of wine flavor. It's a subtle difference, but I really like it. It's a huge difference. Mash is super, super easy. It's the perfect side dish apart from its nutritional content. All you gotta do is just put it in a pot with some water and boil it. That said, I wonder if we couldn't maybe combine some of the things we learned today into kind of one ultimate mashed potato recipe. And no! Just leave it in the damn water and let it boil! Actually, I lied when I said these taste exactly alike.